survey crew with a single bar hit 261, not hit 252. So, uh, same spot you hit 2750 a while back? I did. And same, same, you, you, same spot you, you had? Yes. You got In here. general, I understand that I'm not using GPS, I'm just visually lining myself up. But yes, at the same uh, general location. And I did do it this past uh, uh, two weeks ago, and it was 208. That was after the slough ends on the west. Well, let me just uh, finish up by talking to you a little bit about the ORWs that are planning these are, um, type, what we call type C wells. And uh, Gary Hill will be managing the, the installation. They'll be very consistent with those that we just put in on Sportsman's Landing. Uh, they're indicated on this drawing by these orange dots. These two, and actually this one over here, were all chosen by uh, CPT, uh, positive traces of gas uh, by CPT testing. And so we think these are going to be good locations. Are you going to have roads going through here more? Yes, sir. We did have to extend the road from uh, along the bottom from 53 down to here, mm -hmm. and we've also got an extension that, that runs on our property across over here. How about the cover through the sloughs? Um, which sloughs? Frog vision sloughs. I know. The one by <laughs> 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 I thought about you the other day and I saw what they were doing. <laughs> 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 did, we, did we miss a culvert? I don't know. I'm just wondering. Okay. I don't think you will built it yet. I mean, they, they, got they got to do it today. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. putting culverts in there. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering for drainage purposes, but other reasons also. Yeah. 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 It's good for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, 224 <laughs> inch maybe is what we discussed today. Okay, so that'll, that'll uh, complete the construction portion. And as I mentioned earlier about uh, when I was talking about uh, RW38 and the dewatering plan, the uh, pilot project that we're going to run on that, um, if that succeeds and if we find that we can, by taking small volumes of water out, we can get an uptick in gas or maybe gas you know, uh, <coughs> at all, then certainly we want to do that. And uh, Tetra Tech. I said went through a pretty detailed process of identifying, I think, some 12, I'm not sure the exact number, but there's at least a dozen wells that are good candidate wells, and then we'll start moving over to begin that process. Again, with the objective of maximizing the volume of gas that we're pulling out of the ground. Um, the wells so far that we installed at Sportsman have been performing well, with the exception of one. Uh, we're making, I think, I don't know the actual daily, but I know we've made almost 800,000 cubic feet of gas. Is that right? And our total volume to date is up over 25 million right now. So, all in all, I think we're making progress. I know it's been slow and difficult, but uh, we're creeping up on it. And uh, safety uh, is obviously our, our primary concern. We appreciate you guys being patient with us. And I'll open it up to whatever questions you have. Yeah, real quick. No one's on sportsman in anywhere else, probably. The gate has been taken out. Is there any way of knowing if some more is replacing it? Uh, what, we, what we're seeing so far, we put out what's called a, um, it's, it's a daily summary of, of the production. It has cumulative and uh, by well, or cumulative, and then by well production and cumulative. And then we very recently started a new graph that shows the number of producing wells. And if you look at those three drawings, those three graphs, there is a downward trend. Now there are a little, there are periods where the, the production, the production will jump up. That's as a result of adding new ORWs. But in the in the long run, if you look at the data, it is trending downward. So we believe that to indicate that there's not a massive amount of recharge taking place. We can't we can't say that there's not any recharge, yeah, no, but there doesn't appear to be a massive recharge taking place. So our expectations have, have been fulfilled. You know, we, we knew initially in the very beginning when we, when we had the incident, we had the event, we, we went out and did everything we could to characterize the oil and gas deposits on the western side of the dome because we knew we had a gas problem and we, we obviously had oil on, on the surface of the sinkhole. So our immediate concern was how much is down there? How bad could this thing get? And what we realized is that most of it been depleted. Most of it had been produced. And so we've kind of settled on a volume of about 45 million cubic feet. Now 
that's plus or minus, and there are some that would say that's not enough, and some that would say that maybe that's too much. But in any event, if you assume that, that 45 million is a fairly accurate number, and we produce some 25 million, and you assume that at least a third of what was released will ultimately be dissolved in the water and carried away, then I think we're somewhere in the neighborhood of less than 10 million cubic feet remaining. I'm sorry, how many? 10 million cubic feet. Just an <coughs> approximate, approximate number. The, the wells oh. index in the subdivision here are they producing pressure water. Yeah. I mean, have to, and there's been a great drop or some drop from the town they were put online, or is it holding about the same pressure? Holding about the same. I don't know that we've, we've detected uh, a drop in the pressure water well yet. Was it 16 that went in with the ORWs? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. I know it's my understanding, well, 36 right here in the Bull Grant parking lot. I mean, it's been producing for what, six? Seven months now, and I think the wellhead pressure is about the same, right? Yeah. From what I've been seeing. Forty-six. Yeah, forty-six, forty-seven. Going down there. Shouldn't it be going down though? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. One would, one would, one would think, and one would hope. Still holding steady. Unless it's extremely charged at that. Well, it'll be months before we. Yeah, it's possible. My my claim about recharge was based on the declining production. If it's being recharged, it's doing so at a rate less than, than what we're actually producing. That's why the rates are going down. The cumulative totals are going down. Couldn't, couldn't those rates be affected by, by the water? Well, we have a rewatering or dewatering process where we're not allowing the wells to water up. So that's, that's a short term. In other words, if the well starts to taper off dramatically, we'll come in and pump water out of it and restore the production. That pretty much confirms that it's not uh, a water impact. What do you what do you do with that water that you take out? It goes back over into the sinkhole. You truck it. You didn't get it from pipe. No, it's trucked. We had pipe. We have pipe available, and that was what we were thinking about dual phase paper extraction. But we just we decided that was too risky. We didn't want to do it. Well, that pretty much completes everything I I had. Um, Open to any questions or comments. Um, I, I want to go back to dual phase vacuum system. Uh, <clears throat> my question, I guess, is, is that uh, has, uh, has the Office of Conservation agreed to the plan that, that, that you, you presented here? Yes. They have. We don't do anything out here without uh, Office of Conservation approval. Okay. Uh, can, can you provide us with the results of your? Subsidence study? Everything that's uh, been done has been submitted to DNR is publicly available. Can I get DNR to submit that to us? That's DNR here? They are. They are. It's hard to hear the question. So, Nick, the question about subsidence? Yes. What, what, uh, <coughs> What's it on where the data is for the subsidence reports? Right. Yeah. Well, the DPV. Well, he's talking about the DPV. We're, we're talking about dual phase vacuum so, system. Yeah. Right. The, well, the, the test that we ran on the north side of the sinkhole on the berm, and we had plates out while we were producing water, that's the best we have to demonstrate uh, the impact of water production from an ORD. Nick, Nick wanted to know if that if the report from that work is available. Yeah. I, we go on the assumption that whatever we produce goes into state uh, possession and it's publicly available. That's just that's normal wherever you go. So I'd be shocked if you wouldn't if you, if you couldn't get your hands on whatever we produce. There, there, there are actually two publicly available subsidence studies. One was done by Petrotech and is short-term in nature, up to one year. And the other one, which is listed as preliminary, was done by Itasca, and it covers 30 years. Right. Right. But I think Nick is talking. And they are. They are. They are both available. You got. Right. You got that. What? You got but, a copy of that? Well, those are actually. That's what, you know, a copy. 
it's been distributed to the Blue Ribbon Commission. You're talking about the 30-year? Uh, you're talking about the 30-year or the 